Welcome. In front of me is a Philips X18 or 818, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification screen. So let's go to the part where it actually is locked. So you can see that this will be done on a fully locked device. So there it is, verify your account. So let's go back to the network selection and right here, tap on add another network, type in whatever, it doesn't really matter. Hold it to select it and then tap on three dots to choose assist. And that will open the Google Assistant or you can type in Chrome so we can open up the Chrome browser. I'll just tap on accept and continue and we don't want to sign in, it wouldn't even work anyway. So right now let's navigate into hard reset.info website. Like so from here tap on the three bars and choose download. And in the download field, let's search for Android 8. Like so. And again, scroll down, tap on download. And once more, scroll down and tap on download. And this time it will prompt you to update permissions so we can actually download it. So allow it and OK to start the download. Once it's done, it should pop up with a message to open it. Hopefully, there it is. Let's tap on open and tap on the file itself. And before you can install it, you will need to go into the settings and unlo uh, allow unknown sources, which was right here. Tap on OK and go back and do this once more. But this time you actually can install it. So tap on the install, wait for it, accept. And tap on open. So from here, you want to choose uh, Google Account Manage APK install and for version 6.0. And again, install. And it should prompt us again, or I guess not. Okay, so it didn't prompt us to allow this. Uh, so just go back now that it's installed and then choose Bypass FRP Browser Sign In. And disregard this screen, we want to tap on the three dots right here. And again, tap on browser sign in. Okay. And here you will see the Google screen. So let's just type in our Google account. Now, if you don't have one, I think you can create one below, as you can see right here, create account. But I already have one, so I'm just gonna use it. And tap on next and then put in your password. So I'm going to dot up the screen. And tap on sign in. You'll see that it's signing in. And once it successfully signed in, you should be back in the FRP bypass app. So all you need to do now is hold power key and choose reboot. OK. And let's go to the setup again. And you can see it says account added uh, and it basically adds the account that we have provided previously before the reboot of the device. So we can now just proceed further past this and we don't have to actually verify anything.
So just tap on that now. No thanks. Oh, wait. Oh, for heaven's sake, why? Then I, by mistake, chose to back up, which I didn't want to, and now it, for some reason, goes back to doing whatever it's doing. Amazing. Okay, let's try to not mess this up now. Skip anyway. And there we go. So as you can see, now it's completely bypassed and uh, let's actually do one last thing, which you want to go to settings, go into about phone, find the, where is it? Uh, build number at the bottom, tap on it seven times. And once you see that you are now a developer, go back, go into the developer options, uh, where you see OEM unlocking, enable this, enable, go back. And now let's find backup and reset and factory data reset. And you will get a message that will remove everything. But with the OEM unlock, it also removes basically any accounts that have been previously. So we can just tap on reset it and let the device reset. Now, once it's finished, there won't be any need of verification and logging in. You can just set up your device as however you like this time. So, yeah. And as you can see, now the process is finished, so let's just go to the quick setup. Now you can set it up as a, however you like, I'm just trying to save on time, so I'm going to be skipping most of it. And we're now on the home screen. So. If you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.